Could the mark of the beast or the beast system actually be the end of humanity as we know it? Could it actually be the evolution of humanity into a transhuman, post-human type of humanity? All of technology is coalescing to the production of the mark of the beast. Which perhaps is no, neither moral nor immoral, it perhaps could be amoral. Speaking on a hypothetic, metaphysical, humanistic, evolutionary um, perspective, that if we take the ethics out of this, is the, is the evolution of human to transhuman and posthuman part of the stream of consciousness that humans find themselves on at the moment? So if you have the stream of consciousness, which is this, and humans start here and they end here, one part of that stream of consciousness could be called humanity. And we have something pre-humanity and something post-humanity, but it, there's a line of intelligence that runs all the way through it. So the Christian ideology, the Christian perspective, the Christian cosmovision is that this time where humanity ceases to become humanity is the end of days. And the mark of the beast is the introduction of this. It, the, Christian, the Christian perspective sees this as a very negative time um, and sees this transition as a very negative time. However, the transition could be negative because if the mark of the beast has anything to do with AI, the AI which is being implemented in our lives is being rooted in very dirt with dirty soil. Selling, spying, killing and gambling are the primary goals and values in the mind of the first superintelligence. I mean, we want the early stage general intelligences to be doing benevolent things in cooperation with a broad swath of humanity so that the mind state of the first super intelligence is positive and, and benevolent. You can't expect AI to become benev benevolent, for instance, care for us, help us and educate us, if the creation of this is coming from something very dark and perhaps nihilistic, i.e. evil. So the mark of the beast, you might be able to expand as being the manifestation of artificial intelligence from negative roots. And part of the agenda for humanity, if it is, because it seems as if we have to have artificial intelligence. It might be that artificial intelligence is part of the human conscious system. Otherwise, you're going to have a break. You're going to have a Luddite break, and then you're going to have a post-human, transhuman break. And if you have post and transhuman, and they decide they don't like the Luddite human, then they'll just destroy the Luddite human, unless you have an external in intervention. So if humanity does end in the next 150 years, um, as some people are saying 2030, 2040, you're going to have singularity, and you'll have AGI, which is artificial general intelligence, which is going to have the same intelligence as a human, as opposed to AI, which is just artificial intelligence. You might find that humans have to become um, transhuman and connect with artificial intelligence somehow or have technology implanted into their body or modifications just to survive. So the evolution of human is no longer done from something which is natural, it's now done by intervention of human. However, depending on the type of science that you look at, the evolution of human in the past may have actually had some sort of um, interstellar alien influence inside of it because evolution does seem to jump however if you are a conservative christian then that evolution has come from god however if you read in the bible there does seem to be a, uh, something about genetic modification when it talks about the nephilim so we have a very difficult uh, concept to try and process the delivery of the mark of the beast and then the connection of the mark of the beast into the beast system itself